Hello and welcome! I am Civilian and this is Dwarf Fortress. We are back in Raxex. What are we up to at the moment? We're building a new drowning trap, which it occurs to me that I could, to fill this drowning trap up, actually just, just put a floodgate here and connect, like, just open this floodgate and connect this area to the sea. Um, rather than building that whole chamber above, that's actually kind of unnecessary because I could just connect this to the sea. So, we're gonna do that instead, to be honest. Uh, this area here, I don't know what we'll do. We'll do something else with it. Um, I'm gonna build a, a floor in here. And just cover cover it back up. And we're gonna, none, of this, uh, none of this ever happened. Uh, and I'd like you to forget what you saw. Perfect. And I'll deconstruct all of this good stuff. Perfect. And then I'll probably floor it over so that it becomes a not a way into a fortress. But yeah, I think uh, I did, yeah, it, it occurs to me. I kind of assumed that this wouldn't all be at seven out of seven, but it is. So that makes turn drowning everyone way way easier. Yeah. And what I might also do, I'm kind of tempted because this isn't deep yet. So what I might do is I might build a fortification uh, in here. Ah, oh, I can't because of the water. Oh well, don't worry about it. I was going to say I might build a fortification just in case there's like building destroyers, but it's fine. It's totally fine. And then we're going to do a test run, which is going to be good. Uh, this well thing is going fine. We're pumping all of the water out of this, this, this bit with all the corpses and then we're going to drink it. That, that's, that's pretty good of us, isn't it? Uh, let me extend this zone, maybe. Can't remember if you can... If you extend zones by placing zones on top of zones. Does that work? No. Now I have to redesignate it all. Oh no! I see turkey hens in... Yeah, I'm gonna redo this. Uh, so how are you today? I think... I've noticed that my keyboard has been quite loud lately in videos. Um, just moved a donkey. That's quite sad. Actually, it's I find it faster to hit minus than to hit plus. So we're gonna go do this backwards. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I've added all the turkey hens and I need to re-add a donkey to a thing up here. Uh, uh zones. Oh no, I did it again. I just un I just undid the thing. I pressed N instead of capital N. Oh it's okay. I think they're all still in there. I think we're good. I think they're all still in there. So let me just do a quick run through and I'm going to check that I didn't put all these pults in the other pan. And I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, give me a sec. I don't know how I missed all of these pults. Like, there's so many. There's so many. Uh, someone raised the point that I could just geld all of the ones that I don't want to keep. That's a good point. Good job, you. I'm probably not going to, because I, I might as well... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, if I'm, I might as well just eat the animal, rather than geld it. Like, if I'm in a position where I'm like, oh, I don't want this animal to reproduce, like, might as well geld it. Uh, not geld it. Eat it. Um, unless I was particularly trying to avoid... I missed one turkey hen, but that's fine. We're gonna live with that. Unless I, like, particularly need something. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of random peacocks and things. Oh well, there's a sow. Just looking, and there's the, the donkey that we removed. There's some boars and sows. Just don't want anything too much to starve, you know? Okay, so uh, this area is actually filling up with all of that good underwater, not underwater, and the all of the fun cavern things. So that's nice, I guess. Let's see what's going on in the caverns. Oh, I even remember the hotkey and everything. Look at me. So proud. Uh, there's a, a nice bit of sort of uh, actual floor over here, which is which is cute. We got floor fungus. Bit of a ledge. We could start chopping down those trees. That might be nice. We. I don't want to do too much mining in here, to be honest. I'm kind of. I'm kind of scared of caverns. Uh, here's the cavern entrance, of course. Ooh, these look nice. 
haven't seen cage traps in this like mod thing before what i might do is get dwarves out of there and seal it up for the moment oh no you know what i need to do i've got other things to do bigger things to do better things to do uh actually let's smooth all of this that's a bigger and better thing to do right now and then then uh, actually i'm gonna get a few of these engraved as well maybe they'll show some nice pictures but it'll probably just be more pointless things um, I should do some more mining on this soon, but to be honest, it's not like, I know it's our big secret project, but I don't really imminently need it to be done. Yes? Yes. I don't. Uh, Masterpiece would barrel. Why is the camera jump me over here? Uh, someone's been possessed. Cool, they're a stone crafter, so they'll probably have the materials they need. Now, we're going to run a test, I think of our new shiny shiny drowning trap. What is it? Why is the camera dropped? Uh, they've claimed a, a workshop, yep. And I'm sure you're gonna get all your ingredients straight away, but I'm not worried about that right now because I'm gonna test a drowning trap. So we're gonna close both of the hockey. Yeah, we're gonna close both the levers. Now I can use my newly built, no, I don't want to do the floodgate. We're gonna close the top drowning bridge first. And we're gonna pull it. Pull the lever. Somebody come and pull this lever, please. It's quite sad seeing how slow the lever pulling is. We should get some kind of official lever pulling dwarf. Did we mush anyone? Question. Answer. Uh, uh, probably not. Why have we got a missing peasant? Oh, I think that might be the one that drowned. Is, is it you? No, that's not the right button. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know what happened to you. Okay, so I don't think I think as long as no one's missing, it's probably fine. So we're gonna head up here, and what's everyone up to? Question. Ah, uh, they're doing things. Now then, is this bridge now closed? Because it's actually very hard to tell with these one by one bridges. I'm not even sure if one by one bridges work for that kind of in that way but we're gonna try it anyway so we're gonna uh, we're gonna channel over here because that's what we need to do do we have any means of pumping this water out or is that what I was building and then I got distracted we'll channel this for now but actually I might hold on on the whole thing because I've just realized I don't think I have a way to remove remove the water from the thing yeah um okay oh but i was just gonna build one at the end here oh right and i'm turning that into the input rather than the output so that's why we got problems okay so once we close the floodgate uh i just i can dig something in this room what's here that's a sad is this sad? Oh, it's Rudland's sad ghost because we never built that slab. Um, so I could just build something to just pump it all out the side of the, the fortress. And that's what I'm gonna... I said that's what I'm gonna do, but what did you do? You began your construction. Right, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna pump it out the side, like, just here. Just there. That's where we're pumping it from. This is gonna be great. Um... So actually I'm going to remove this construction again, then I'm going to build a pump there, pumping sideways, yeah, and then we'll just hook the pump up to a windmill so that we don't have to worry about it, and I think that sounds pretty good, um, wait, uh, do I, mm, I don't know, I don't know if we can easily turn off and on pumps when they're hooked up to windmills. I assume that we can. If we hook the pump up to a lever, but I've never tried hooking a pump up to a lever. So I don't really know if it's like a, a thing that's that's possible to, to do. Um, what I am going to do is remove some constructions over here and then floor all of this over because this, this is the mistakes of the of the past, you know, we'll just 
put a floor, make it there. Just cover it up with uh, clay. Yeah, good idea, we'll use clay. That'll be really easy. Then it'll blend in with the uh, disgusting floor that we've already got there. Yeah, so I can pump that up from there. Um, but I'm not sure if pumps can be turned on or off with the levers. So we're gonna have to find out. Yeah. So. Hold on. Interrupted by a, a dwarven. Ch interrupted by a farmer. Interrupted by a fishery worker. Where's all this? Why is there fighting? Right, hold on, hold on. Why is that? Why is fi Why? We got a farmer, and we got a. S so we got a doctor. Well, I can't have my doctors fighting. What's happened? The child. A child is fighting a trader. What? Oh, someone became enraged. I think. What the, the there? This is all unexpected. Um, right. Okay. Why has this happened? Question. We've got a lot of um jobs queued up to look after patients, and we've got an enormous amount of injured people in here. Why? Our C's been injured. So we've got a bunch of injured dwarves. Right. We've got a legend we've got loads of people making their way down to the the hospital. Um why? Why has this happened? Oh, like I've completely forgotten what the other thing I was doing. Rudland the second has become a miner. They've made nice barrels. Interrupted by combat. Interrupted by combat. Everyone's getting involved in this combat. Um. Why has the combat happened? Cancels dig. Interrupted by a farmer. Is this the the earliest instance of that? It happened over here. I I really don't understand. Nod Flanders, you uh, legend. Nod Flanders the second, anyway. What? What's? Tell tell me. Are you wounded? No. This farmer is very wounded. Um, status. I was attacked. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. She's oh, she's her upper front tooth, her upper front teeth, as a whole are gone. I I I don't know what has happened in this fortress. I assume someone's lost it. I assume someone's kind of like they've lost it and they've started fighting, and <sighs> yeah fishery worker was was terrified the stuterer is is terrified I don't I'd get my military involved but I've got no idea what's going on I'm gonna unpause it a tiny bit let's see what's uh, let's see how all this progresses I guess uh someone's a lot of front teeth from a dwarf Oh jeez. Oh dear. Um so I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to assume that my military are on the right side of it. So I'm just going to send some soldiers in here and we're going to see how see what happens. Uh A B uh A, I'd like you to to move. Let's just go here. And uh B, cannon fodder squad. Uh I'd like you to also go here uh non cannon fodder squad, sorry. Let's just all get over here. Let's get involved. You'll probably know who's in the right and who's in the wrong in this conflict. I I feel. As dwarves of the military. What's happening? 
Is anyone else fighting? Interrupted by combat, where? Down here! We've got our military. I just, I don't know what the, the threat is. I assume that someone lost it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happened. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I can't provide a, a better commentary on what's happened here. Uh, and this episode is going to be mostly me going, I didn't know what happened. But I, I'm really quite confused. So we've got some sparring. We have a hunter hunting. That's all fine. Um, what this is all today ish so what what really happened studio attacked a farmer a ranger attacked a farmer a leather worker was attacking a farmer i get i guess a farmer went crazy a child and a trader were fighting that's its own and the planter and the child were fighting and then Farmer's punching a carpenter. What's the? What did the child do? The child got attacked by loads of ch like dwarves. What's Rudlin doing? Fighting the farmer. Unpause. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm, I guess I guess my military can. Stand down, be free, my dwarves. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, what were we doing before all of that strangeness happened? I'm sure the comments will reveal much better guesses of what has happened than I could ever come up with. So, we're gonna make our big custom stockpile of vomit again. Um, oh, and at least we've got a nice coal crown. Thank you. So, I guess we'll get back to the whole pumping water thing that we were going to do. And actually, I would like to cancel this designation here, because let's not dig that out before we've built all the rest of this. First things first, a test. So we're going to build a machine pump. Am I just moving right along after all that strangeness? Yes, I am, because I don't know what else to do. So we're going to pump from the west, we'll make it out of whatever. And yeah, so we'll place that there. Hopefully our dwarf won't get trapped by building it. And what I'm thinking is that if we can't turn the pump on and off at will, we can probably put some kind of flood gate thing there that we can use. Oh, the waves are causing a problem in my trade depot. Um, well, it's not really a problem, I guess. There's a lot of water there. Because I haven't built a floor yet. But it's fine. I think we're building a floor, I think we're in the process of it. I'm gonna channel this out soon. Everybody's training? Good job. Uh, everyone's having a nice dodging demonstration. Ah, you know what we should do? On a note that's completely unrelated to all of the- there were a lot of bad things happening earlier. Which- which button? Eh? 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 None of these buttons. I have not set up a, a, an appropriate button. Anyway, here. Let's get the, I can't remember which is which, I think it's the lengths of clasping that we want. I would like you to move uh, here. And let's get both sets going. Move here. Cool, everybody, come on over here. Get involved in the situation. I've got so many injured dwarves. Hopefully our doctors, uh, I believe Nord Flanders the second is our doctor, so. They're going to be working overtime a little bit, but I think it should be alright. Uh, so, where did our military dwarves actually decide to go? Are they on their way? I feel like they should be here by now. Uh, maybe if I just... Squads, uh, let's move... Uh, maybe just move, like, like, to here. Move to here. Is that... yeah, they... They like being told to move to a place that actually exists, which I get. I, I know the feeling, but I'm like, go stand in this in this place in the middle of nowhere, for whatever reason. Question: Did I actually hook up this uh, got this lever? I don't think I actually hooked up the lever. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, cancel that. Let's link up some traps real quick. Uh, 
but no, not that. We're gonna hook up. Uh, we've got. Wait, is a weapons trap not the right thing? I don't know if a weapons trap is actually the right thing. Yeah, we need upright spears and spikes, I think. Okay, hold on. Uh, remove all of these. Just, just, uh, let's release the, the squads right now, because we don't need them. Because this isn't how we do things. And then we'll build some new traps, and we'll get everyone to learn to dodge. Which is what they were doing before I really rudely interrupted them. Uh, a dwarf has trapped themselves here, which shouldn't be surprising. We'll just open this up like that. And now we will hook... We will uh, designate channel. And we're going to channel above, let's say this block. And on top of that, we're going to build a windmill. It's going to be great or something. Emphasis on the or something. No one else has been interrupted by combat? No. Just could, you know me churning out all of the uh, masterful things. Now, we'll build some walls. I don't really know how I want to do this, to be honest. Um, like, I guess I'll just like tip it out the side, you know? We'll just build it like, like this. <laughs> Which is a bit odd, maybe. Um, I don't want to do too much in case the creatures like climb out of the drowning trap. Which I don't know if they can do, but I feel like they, they might be able to do, so I don't want to give anything an opportunity to climb out of the trap. Um, so we're gonna not... Uh, I might put a grate over the, the thing that I built anyway is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, let's build, let's build a, uh, f uh, well no, not a flate, a, a, a great, like a hatch, I think hatches, okay, uh, unit manager Q, hatch, uh, that will make it out of wood, why not, no, we'll make it out of rock, let's be dwarven about this whole business, and then we can put that up there, and I think if we can't turn the pump on and off, that should at least be able to control the flow of water. Which is what we want, I believe. Yeah, that's probably what we want. Here we go. Windmill. Make it out of things and make it out of stuff. Uh, people are becoming uh, wrestlers, which I guess is good for them. I don't know. Our animal population is growing quite large. Which is nice. I guess it was unnecessary to expose that whole area to the surface since uh, we've sorted that out now. Uh, no more bears have shown up in the tavern, which is good. And yeah, I, this is completely fine. Uh, this is running really smoothly, I, I, would, I think. For a given definition of a smooth fortress running. Not sure what all that business with the child fighting and all that was, but I'm just gonna move on. Because it's not good to linger. You don't want to linger. You don't want to focus on the negative. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this, this space back here. So we've got all this space, right? But it's not really going to be accessible. Uh, unless I hook it up to... Oh, I can make it accessible. I could link it up to the farm. I did say I want the, wanted this fortress to be weird and organic. So I could link this up to the farm. Uh, and then... I'll build a door for now in here. Because I like doors. Because, you know, I like to not get murdered. And. That's probably good. And you know what? In order to test any pumping system, isn't it necessary for us to uh, trust, test the drowning chamber? Or else I'm, I want to test the drowning chamber soon. I don't know what the FPS is like on this fortress. Let's see. I think it's 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 not fast. It's not running fast, but it's not dreadful. Um, I will abandon this fortress before it gets really slow, probably. Um, 
but it's okay because I, I have got a resolution for this series in mind so it'll just be we'll go we'll do that and then we'll be done with this fortress you know uh, oh, we, have we managed to build the roof? No, there's definitely something that I'm doing wrong when I'm constructing these downstairs because dwarves can never seem to build the downstairs that I queue up on top of upstairs. I'm not sure what the problem is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, queue up some beds. Queue bed 10 so that we've got some ready because what I was going to do is just furnish those bedrooms and put some doors on and assign them to the tavern and be done with the whole business and call the tavern done. Um, but yeah, as it turns out, that's not really, not really a thing. And let's, let's cue some statues. Uh, let's make them out of rock. Let's make like 30 statues. We're gonna decorate this fortress. There is a pack of dogs roaming around. They are our dogs, I believe. But they should be in the designated dog receptacle. Down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the dwarves to that. And I didn't undesignate... The, uh, the, the zone there, so that was pretty pretty smart of me, if I say so myself. I'm always bad at spotting named ones and adding them to the right thing, like the name just... I'm just scanning for names and then I see... Uh, I mean, I'm scanning for, for the, the, the species and then I just see like a name and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, that's... Reg is not an animal that I am aware of. But to be fair, it, it doesn't take much to confuse me, you know? And that looks fine. We put one of the two of the dogs in there. Good enough. Uh, we're also going to quickly build a trap, and then we're going to build the the speary stabby things. So now we're done. Uh, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure if we want a lot of training spears. Um, I think I'll go for fewer. Let's not use silver. That sounds like a bad idea. That will make our dwarves be stabbed. But we'll use this willow training spear. And I'm gonna go ahead and designate all of these. All done! Boom. Boom. So, yes. Now we just need all that to get built. Uh, how is everybody that got injured doing? Looks like most of the people that were injured are now out of the hospital. We've got some, probably, some wounded dwarves. But honestly, it's probably not going to be anything too severe. Our new big stockpile room of disgustingness has also filled up almost. So I'm going to build another one here. Is is because it's, it's a beautiful system. Uh, I recommend that you all make vomit everything stockpiles in your fortresses. Uh, if you like how terrible that looks on your screen, it's 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 it's, it's artistic. It's my work of art. Uh, you know, it's all the, it's 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 a very interpretive work. It's all about you know the the nature of randomness. I would say we've also not got this channeling done, and we've got very few idlers. So I think it might just be that we've got a lot of jobs going on at the moment, or a lot of people getting distracted by meditate on children, uh, play make believe. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, people training at any given time. Yeah, I think it's just that our dwarves are busy uh, hauling what with that new stockpile that's just gone in. So yeah, but anyway, uh, this is where I am going to end it for today. Hopefully next time we can actually test this drowning trap out. Uh, if any of you have any idea what might have happened with all of that fighting, let me know. Because, uh, you know, ooh, the dwarf comic was sparring. Let's see. Let's see how this went. Uh, oh. Cute, cute sparring. Cute sparring by Dwarf Comic. Yes, so, uh, I've forgotten what I've said so far in this sort of outro bit, but I have been Civilian, and I will see you next time in Dwarf Fortress. Thank you for watching.